Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Cup of Joe. Hope you're having a good morning so far. Hopefully you had a good worship service yesterday. If you attended Harvest, uh, it was sure a wonderful message shared by Pastor Alex. Um, if you don't have a church home, hey, feel free to jump online with us at harvestchurch.tv any given week or just look up Harvest Church on Facebook and you can join us online. Um, hopefully we'll be back in our actual building, the Harvest Church building here in the Heights in the coming weeks. We're not sure when that's going to be yet, but anyway, look forward to seeing you all here in the building or every morning on Cup of Joe, right? Well, hey, um, as I continue to read uh, my Old Testament passage uh, or chapters, um, I wanted to share with you today Numbers 14, um, because it's one of my favorite, because two characters uh, who are my maybe most favorite characters in the Old Testament, Joshua and Caleb, are introduced. And so I'm going to jump in, Numbers 14. I'm going to read this part. I'm going to jump over in another part of Scripture and just share with you a little something there. Um, but hopefully you're blessed. Uh, we're starting our day right, right? All right, let's do it. Check it out. Numbers 14 says, Then the whole community began weeping aloud, and they cried all night. Their voices rose in a great chorus of protest against Moses and Aaron, their leaders. And they said, If only we had died in Egypt, or even here in the wilderness, they complained. Why is the Lord taking us to this country only to have us die in battle? Our wives and our little ones will be carried off as plunder. Wouldn't it be better for us to return to Egypt? Then they plotted among themselves, let's choose a new leader and go back to Egypt. It's terrible, right? But we don't know what it was like then. We very well could have been right there in the midst of them, right? Sinners. They'd been in the wilderness for a long time. Um, maybe somehow they had lost faith in their leaders and... Man, they're just rising up. They're plotting. Boy, I sure would have hated to be the person who was leading that plotting, right? We learned that the other day when we were talking about Miriam uh, and Aaron. Then they plotted among themselves, let's choose a new leader and go back to Egypt. Now check out verse 5. Then Moses and Aaron, because they're hearing all of this, right? They fell face down on the ground before the whole community of Israel. Now among that whole community were two men. Check it out the next verse. Two of the men who had explored the land, Joshua son of Nun and Caleb son of Jephna, tore their clothing. So they had already been to the land as, as uh, part of the spy group. All the rest of the community hadn't been to the land, hadn't seen that all that was there. Uh, they're wailing and crying and plotting and complaining. And Joshua and Caleb are kind of tearing their clothes, it says, like, what are you guys talking about? Are you crazy? They said to all the people of Israel, the land we traveled through and explored, it is a wonderful land. And if the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us safely into the land and give it to us. It is a land, a rich land, flowing with milk and honey. Listen, do not rebel against the Lord, and don't be afraid of the people of the land. They are only helpless prey to us. They have no protection, but the Lord is with us. Don't be afraid of them. That's pretty awesome, right? Can you see God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit up in heaven in the midst of all this wailing and complaining and there's just, Jesus is like, oh, goodness. Oh, but then all of a sudden, Joshua and Caleb speak up. Jesus is like, wow, that's some courageous, awesome dudes. 
and I love it because I'm going to flip over real quick. Because of Joshua and Caleb's stand, boldness, courage, check out. Joshua has a whole book of the Bible written about him. And I love chapter 1. It says this, after the death of Moses, okay, back over there in Numbers 14 where we are today, Moses still alive and kicking, he's the leader. After the death of Moses, the Lord's servant, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant. So Joshua had become Moses' assistant. He said, Moses, my servant, is dead. Therefore, the time has come for you to lead these people. The Israelites, therefore, the time has come for you to lead these people, the Israelites, across the Jordan River into the land I am giving them. I promise you what I promised Moses, wherever you set your foot, you will be on land I have given you. It's pretty awesome, right? All these people wailing and plotting and wanting to go back to Egypt. Joshua and Caleb rising up as bold, courageous men of God. Man, when the Lord sees that, he's like, I'm going to raise you up. And he did to Moses' assistant. And when Moses died, Joshua became leader. And he's who led the people into the promised land. Amen? It's pretty awesome, right? So, no matter what you're going through today, even though it might be tough, just be careful of wailing and moaning and complaining negatively. Have faith. Faith comes from hearing, hearing the word of God. We've heard the word today because the Lord is there in heaven looking down and he's looking for those who would just have faith, trust him, believe in him, that he is the God that makes all things possible. He is a God who provides, right? Jehovah Jireh, he will provide. So no matter how dire things look right now, just hold on, reach up, grab the hand of Jesus and say, Lord, help me through this. I have all the faith in the world that you'll help us through and he will. Amen. All right. Hey, let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for your word today. We're so encouraged, Lord, by great men of faith like Joshua and Caleb. Lord, help us, Lord, no matter what the land looks like, no matter what the people look like, God. Help us to see the positive. Help us to see the fruit. Help us to see the wonderful beauty, God, in all that's going on around us despite the circumstances. And Lord, sure ask us, help us. Holy Spirit, help us to know that we can reach up to you, grab a hold of your hand, Lord Jesus, and you are going to help us. You're going to guide us through. You're going to give us the strength and the courage that we need to make it. Now, Lord, we thank you that your word has been a wonderful lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, as you told us in Psalm 119, 105. Lord, we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Awesome time in the Word this morning. So good being with you guys. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow morning. All right? Love y'all.